I always try to make sure you guys know that it's Beano, folks. So make sure that you know that I don't play with you on any sites. We're at the live view here, and then I'll click on, and we'll get what we're looking at all night long last night, or at least. And basically, you get a, and it's I would take a guess that fundamentally that it should be Jupiter, uh, could be possibly Venus. I guess maybe I'll pull up a constellation chart and we'll see about that. This should be like 209 Eastern Time. Okay, because it's, it's UTC, it's Zulu. And you can't miss this. And it's going to be in all of our shots on the array because I'll go to the 24th here. We'll click on that. And we will get the same shadow on, I believe that is Tullahoma there also. You can't miss it. You'll see it. You see it there. Right there. You can't miss it. Okay. And then there. So, you know, it's not a cloud. And I believe that's what everybody else was probably. And I'm not, I'm just stopping there. But I think I got, you know, I think I get the connection. So, anyway, yeah. Saw that earlier. So, and as you see, and then basically, uh, I was chatting yesterday and mentioned the factual of, I'll go to the last object, see if we had it, in case we had it on the 23rd too, so that cloud is showing up, I wasn't really noticing in that cloud the other day, because what I was interested in is how far this doggone thing's out, I'll check this out, how far away that is and how much it showed up in the sky. 854.952 AU. So if there is a uh, keyhole into space, I tell you what, NASA and them should have just found on this night. When you know that data there, okay, that's a tremendous keyhole through space because you'll see how big the comet and long the tail and everything like that. So there's a hell of a loop. There's a hell of a hole in space that if we ever would have wanted to have shot something, because once it gets up there, uh, i.e. like the Richard Branson thing, going up to highest altitude you can get with a plane, and then shooting your spaceship off, and then having another rocket, can you imagine how fast you could get a rover out distances something close to that? You know, and that is huge. 854.952 IU, it's something like 900 and something thousand billion miles okay and I'm not s I'm serious on that it's like nine 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 thousand billion miles out okay that's hella far out so a huge keyhole through space on the pattern in the eyelet of that comet object because that thing was that damn far out and then the actual factuality that no matter what we get a shadow of what I was showing you here on live view on this Tullahoma shot. Pretty sure it's Tullahoma. Yep, Tullahoma. So, and it was there on the 23rd, and let's see if it was there on the 22nd. So we, and it's still very unusual to have all this stuff still flying around. And even though they have the explanation of the other uh, comet, known the celestial it's still out of the falls liesto and this is supposed to be dying off also and it won't because we know we got close objects jpl anything on close on jpl will show you that that we have tons of more close objects coming and also i was showing in factual that they have and they will announce it tomorrow about uh, a bunch of uh mile or at least a kilometer size objects that are flying through saturn's uh, rings and honestly if they're seeing something going through Saturn's rings and it's as small as a kilometer which is not that small it's a big object out there in space they are seeing tons of stuff like that flying through Saturn's rings I would say that it's probably they're wrong on their size and that those things that they're seeing go th through Saturn's rings are probably larger than that uh, Saturn's huge so anyway I'm not going to argue too much with them saying that they're a mile or a kilometer big but anyway there's a bunch of objects up by Saturn that are going through their rings and they can see it and they're going to disclose that tomorrow 
in, I believe, in a quick link for you folks, basically the rover up on Mars is still, they are basically still playing with it, okay, with all of its telemetry and so forth, and you go to that link there above, and you will get a lot of nice shots of pretty darn believable. If anyway, they can bleed the truth because you can match those pictures compared to the last one, which would be that there with, you match that with that shot there. And I'm not sure if they found more than one, but there's a huge meteorite that they found on the Mars, which should still be there. So someday the truth will bleed through because they're saying that that's there, and it's 90. They figure it's 93% iron and 7% nickel. So huge iron and nickel. You know the properties of nickel, ladies and gentlemen, and you know the properties of iron. And if that's all factual, true. There you go, and the meteorite on Mars. Okay, so check out the rover action at that at that link I got you for you up here. Okay, and you can go there and find that. So anyway, and you got it up here. Let's see if I can highlight it and if it show up any better. There you go.
anyway, I'm pretty sure that this is, gets on people's nerves. Since we know that there's nothing up at 300 miles high in space and orbiting the Earth, then uh, people's nerves probably get a little bit on the western coast of North America, more than likely. A little bit nervous when they have something speeds less than 15 kilomiles a second, 33,500 miles an hour. So I guess basically we can go and match or try to match what we get what, on, the sec on the 22nd. So basically we can go take and we'll probably more than likely see something uh, possibly. Depends on what trajectory that it came in on. Now the closest thing to Earth that we had that night was this, but the basically there was a lot of stuff on the 22nd that flew by Earth. So in vast different distances, out to like 16 IU. The closest thing besides that one or whatever hit California was basically, and yeah, so I figured it's an asteroid, uh, but basically its sister or cousins or whatever was out here at this point 386 IU, and who knows, maybe closer or maybe farther because we got a lot of stuff that night. And here we, we'll cruise up through all these objects. That was the one that was close, the first there that I showed you. Basically, it's that there, okay? And then you'll see all these other objects that basically comets, falling stars, out in space, asteroids if they come through our atmosphere and burn up and hit the ground. Meteorite storms, ladies and gentlemen. Lots of them. Okay, so lots of stuff on the night of the 22nd, okay? Lots of stuff. Okay. And yes, folks, the sun and the supergiants are putting some unusual crescent moons on, and you can't say that we haven't had a angle change of the light beams of the sun or the suns of the supergiants changing on us because, as you see, the moon is putting on a pretty good show. And uh, the evening is like about 12, almost 1 o'clock, between the 12 o'clock and 1 o'clock hour the next day. So midnight, you want to look on that satellite that has a camera from those network stations off the satellite on your possible television connection. So, and as you, we do, we have close objects coming around. So anyway, but a lot closer in January and February of 2013. And like I say, February 28th is going to be very important. Uh, and there you go. There's a shot of the moon. Crescenting on the bottom, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Factual, actual. Got it in Portugal. So as you can see, Jupiter in it also. So. Anyhow. And it's still incredible auroras. Okay, so get out and check them out. So anyway, pretty much this should be, and it's been showing up the last couple nights, and I'll prove it to you again. It should be basically, there it is there, and on 23rd, there it is there. More than likely, it's been Jupiter or Venus, okay? So, started showing up on the 22nd and the 23rd, and they don't like talking about that. But anyway, it's the truth. Go outside at nighttime and look, and you might might see it. Uh, they can see it in Tullahoma, so if you're in Tullahoma out east, one of the cameras in this, these four locations here, 